Have you ever had like just a really bad crafting day? Like everything just went wrong. You made the project many times before, but for some reason today, your project is just not working out for you. Well, last week that happened to me while I was filming the coloring shirt episode. You didn't notice in that video, but I assure you I made so many mistakes that day. So instead of throwing out all that footage from all those mistakes I made, I decided to keep the footage and show you how to fix all those mistakes. If you're new here, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. I hope you don't have any bad crafting days and I hope you can learn something from mine. If you're interested in crafting and Cricut tutorials, please hit that subscribe button and press that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. The first mistake I made was with weeding. I was weeding out the turtle and I totally messed up the turtle's face. The best way to have avoided this mistake in the first place would have been to keep design space open with my project. I would also go into design space and flip the image around as we're weeding a mirrored image and that way I could have seen what I needed to weed a lot more clearly. Now since I didn't do that and I totally messed up my weeding, I needed to fix my design. So I cut my turtle out of the design with a pair of scissors and had my Cricut cut out a new turtle. Now my words and bubbles still look good so I kept those. I went into design space, hit the text and bubbles and my maker just cut out the turtle. Now this is where mistake number two happened. I was very low on black heat transfer vinyl. I had just gone to my vinyl supplier and totally forgot to get more black. So I used my last piece of vinyl, which I thought should be the perfect size for my turtle as long as I placed it properly on my mat. However, I was a few millimeters off and I cut the bottom fin of my turtle right off. Now to have avoided this, I should have just went out and got some more black heat transfer vinyl and just redid it, but I didn't. Another way I could have avoided this was using snap mat, but I had already done my design on my computer and I wouldn't have been able to transfer my image over to my iPad simply because I use curved text in my design and currently iOS does not support curved text. So what did I do? I had a few pieces of black scraps of HDB laying around, so I thought I'd use those. Obviously not enough to cut out a whole new turtle. So I went back into design space and I selected a square and sliced off the bottom portion of my turtle's fin. I had my maker cut just the slice piece out. I then weeded both my new turtle and his new fin. Once all my pieces were weeded properly, I had to line them up like a puzzle making sure none of the carrying sheets were overlapping my pieces of vinyl. I used some scissors to cut away some of the carrying sheet just to make sure nothing was overlapping. After I had lined up my image and pressed it, I realized I made yet another mistake. I didn't cut close enough along the border of the fin, so I created a seam and some of the vinyl at the edge did not stick down. What I should have done is press my turtle first without the extra fin piece. And then after I could have lined up that bottom piece of the fin and applied that properly. So how did I fix my mistake? I got some heat resistant tape. Unfortunately, I don't have a clip of me using it. And I put it over the little pieces that were standing up and I just flattened that. And then I pressed my design again. And thankfully that worked well. You can still see a bit of the seam but at least everything was adhered properly. Now before I press the shirt, a small piece of weeded vinyl must have attached itself to the shirt without me noticing it. Because after I pressed it, I found this little black piece of extra vinyl stuck just below the bottom of the pea. Now it was such a small piece of vinyl, no one probably would have noticed it, but it was bothering me and I wanted to get rid of it. So what I should have done is before I press the shirt, I should have double checked to make sure there were no loose pieces of vinyl stuck on the shirt. So what did I do? I simply applied some of this VLR to the back of the shirt right behind the little piece of black vinyl that got stuck and I used my nail and just was easily able to remove that small piece of vinyl. However, when I use this product, I usually wear gloves and I didn't wear gloves today. So what ended up happening was I got some of my nail polish onto the shirt. 
told you I was having a bad crafty day. So what I did was grab some nail polish remover, I put some on the shirt, and tried to move it around with a little cotton swab to remove it. It didn't come off right away, but I left the shirt for a bit and when I came back, the nail polish was gone. But now there is a bit of a blue stain from the nail polish remover. I thought I'd better press my shirt again just in case some of the VLR got underneath some of the other letters just to make sure my vinyl was adhered properly. So I let that nail polish remover dry and then I repressed my shirt and I still have the blue stain there, but you need to wait 24 hours before you wash your shirts after you have applied vinyl. So I waited the 24 hours, I sprayed the shirt with some stain remover, put it in the wash, and thankfully my shirt came out clean. And it was ready for me to give to my daughter so she could color it. No one was able to notice the mistakes I made on that shirt. If you found this video informative, please hit that like button and press subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. I hope you don't have any bad crafting days, but if you do, know you're not alone and chances are there may be a solution to your problem so you can fix up the project that you messed up. Let me know in the comments about your worst crafting day and if you're able to figure out a solution to your problem or if you just redid the project. I look forward to seeing you on more crafting adventures.